Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to share with you my five top favorite body sprays or body mists, I would say of all time, but definitely my five favorite discoveries of the last like year, year and a half. I haven't really been into body sprays that much until the last few months, so it's kind of biased, but I also did have one of these body sprays for a long time before this. So yeah, I guess you could classify these as my top five favorite body spray discoveries kind of ever and the ones that I enjoy wearing the most so i hope that you're in the mood for a relaxing fragrance video and if you're new to my channel thank you for stopping by my name is alithia and on this channel we do talk a lot about fragrance we also talk a little bit about organization decluttering some self-care hygiene items bedroom tours closet stuff shoes handbags pretty much whatever i feel like talking about that sparks joy in me and i like to share that with you so if you're interested in that type of content then definitely make sure to subscribe and without further ado let's jump on into today's video before we get into the body sprays, you guys, I'm going to chat a little bit about my nails, about intermittent fasting, which is something I just recently started doing, as well as juicing and just like a little bit of life chit chat in general. So some of you people really like listening to that. Some of you don't. So if that is not your jam, jump ahead to the timestamp I will put on the screen. But if you want to hang out for the chit chat portion, then feel free to do so as well. Um, as many of you know, up until this year, I wasn't really getting into body sprays at all. I was more just into the perfumes, um, but I've definitely done a little bit more looking around and getting into the body mist, which has been actually very, very rewarding. I found a lot that I've really enjoyed wearing and um, some of them have almost better payoff than perfumes do because the compliments have been really good with some of them, actually even better than some of my perfumes. Sometimes the longevity is actually even better than some of my perfumes. Um, I thoroughly enjoy wearing them. So it's been a very enjoyable thing to get into body sprays and not just perfumes. I'm really, really liking it. It's also a lot more affordable. So if you guys like body mist, you can definitely expect to see more of that in the future. I'm really looking forward to trying out different scents as they're released from companies and whatnot. Um, but something else I've been doing for myself is just trying to also find like more of a balance and an equilibrium because as many of you guys know, I've been doing the perfume thing now for a couple of years and it's not that I dislike perfumes or like them any less now than I did in the beginning. It's just that in the beginning, it was so much more exciting because there was so much undiscovered territory out there. There was so many perfumes I had never smelled before, so many companies and brands and houses that I had yet to discover. And of course, there still always is. Um, but continually purchasing perfumes for the sake of discovery is very expensive. So you either have to slow down or do decants or samples or whatever and as it is right now I'm just not in a place where I feel like forking out hundreds of dollars a month toward discovering perfumes to do on a channel it's just not something that I'm interested in doing at the moment I am trying to find an equilibrium my channel's whole purpose was not to review fragrance it was to share whatever I was passionate about at the time whatever I was loving and in the beginning of my channel that was like home organization, minimalism, simplicity, and then it evolved into perfumes. And right now I'm just like, what I'm passionate about at this very moment is like balance, self-care, taking care of myself, giving myself time and giving myself grace when I have a hundred thousand things going on. Yeah, I just don't like the idea. I don't like the feeling of having constant pressure on myself and I always feel this pressure of like I need to have new content I need to have talk about new fragrances and that is a very that's something that's not why I started my channel you know what I mean the channel was not so I could get to that point where I felt pressure to do something it was because I was in love with something and wanted to share it with the world I want to make sure that I'm really staying true to myself in that way so anyways in other news you guys I am also drinking black coffee as you will notice which isn't all that enjoyable I'll be honest I don't really like black coffee all that much it's almost to the point that I would rather almost just wait and have coffee with milk in it or cream in it um, but I have started intermittent fasting and so I can't have any milk in my coffee or cream in my coffee until 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock um, every day so I'm having black coffee and if you guys want me to do a video talking about my experience with intermittent fasting how it's been working for me um, how I'm enjoying it then I can definitely do that today is only about I would say day six maybe of intermittent fasting five or six yes I'm very new into it and also I did just work two night shifts so I don't think that I have a full grasp of how I'm going to actually feel because night shifts really threw a wrench in being able to 
intermittent fast. I still did it, but it was difficult. I had to adjust a few things. Of course, when you get off your shift at 7.30 in the morning, you're tired and you've been awake all night. So you're very aware of the fact that you haven't eaten. And at that point, hunger does set in. And then if you sleep until 3.30 or 4 that day because you have to go back to work, now I've pushed my fast back like another three or four hours. So needless to say, I have had a couple of very hungry days this week. So I don't think it's been a true... Um, representation of how intermittent fasting will work for me and the reason I'm doing it in case anybody is asking is not for weight loss um, although I have lost a couple pounds already inadvertently I've, I've definitely leaned out a little bit already um, but actually I would prefer to be gaining muscle so we'll see how it helps with that aspect because I'm definitely not trying to lose weight <laughs> I'm already in a very like I'm at my ideal weight but the reason I'm doing it is just for general health benefits actually there's a lot of health benefits to doing a 16 hour fast or even longer fasting but one part of that is autophagy so autophagy is when your body actually goes through and starts to remove unnecessary or dysfunctional or like bad fragments of proteins and whatever else cells that are in your body that are just sitting there not being used that are potentially harmful your body actually goes and does like a cleanup. So that's what I try to think of it as when I'm doing my fasting. I try to think of it as like my body is doing a cleanup and during the cleanup, you do not interrupt. <laughs> Obviously, if you break your fast, if you have like, you know, milk or something with calories throughout the fasting window, then your body kind of stops that process a bit because now it's focusing on digesting the food that you've given it and it's also getting energy from those foods. And when you fast, your body sort of is forced to go around and, and kind of clean up and think, okay, what can I destroy? What, what else can I use for energy? You also go through gluconeogenesis, which is the creation of glucose from non-glucose sources, which is fat, which is of course why you end up losing weight. So there's a ton of different benefits to, to fasting. Yeah, that's kind of why I'm doing it. It's just for digestive reasons, just for general health. Um, so the only downside to that is having black coffee. I really, really don't like black coffee. The only time I ever drank black coffee in the past was when I was doing a bodybuilding competition and that was also not enjoyable. <laughs> so yeah, I may have to either not drink coffee at all until I can have like food and then have my coffee with my normal oat milk or cream or whatever. It's all about balance, right? Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing today. We are having black coffee and in about an hour and a half, I can have my first meal and I'm really excited for that. I wouldn't say that I'm feeling hungry, but my body is still definitely adjusting to, I usually have breakfast at as soon as I wake up. I usually have coffee and breakfast as soon as I wake up. So if that's a day shift, my first meal of the day is at 5.30 in the morning. And then I have something again at around 8.30 or 9. And I usually eat every three hours, which is really good for gaining muscle when you're on a heavy weightlifting plan, which I have been. Not so good for letting your body do some cleanup, what I'm trying to get it to do with fasting. So yeah, but my body definitely is aware of the fact that I'm not eating. I can tell that, but it's okay. I'm not going to give up that easily. <laughs> I know there's so many benefits if I can, you know, get through the first few days of like adjusting. Before I move on to another topic, I will say that the biggest struggle for me so far has been trying to get in enough calories in my eight hour eating window. That has been the biggest struggle for me because I don't eat a lot of high calorie foods to begin with. Just by nature, I eat a lot of like almonds, fruits and vegetables, uh, salmon, eggs, nut butters. Nut butters are high calorie and oatmeal. And But I don't eat a lot of like calorie dense foods to begin with. And I'm not going to just start eating you know, junk just to get those calories in. So I do find that I have been on a bit of a caloric deficit, which was not my plan, but that's just what's ended up happening because when I start something, I start something and I carry it the whole way through. So, so yeah, it's been a bit of a adjustment. Uh, if any of you have intermittent fasted and you have tips for how to make sure you're getting in enough calories in that eight hour window, let me know because I definitely have shrunk a little bit and I'm kind of nervous for the next time I go to the gym and do like a heavy weight training session because my muscles, I'm sure my muscles are not going to be feeling as like pumped as they usually do. So yeah, we'll see how it works. Anyway, that's what I'm doing at the moment. I've also gotten a new juicer, which I'm super, super excited about. It was a little bit expensive, but it is fantastic, you guys. If you've ever wanted to get into juicing, I absolutely love this juicer. The amount of juice that you get per like for the fruit that you're using is out of this world. It is amazing. Um, and honestly, you guys, the juice that I made yesterday for the first time with my juicer was probably the best juice I've ever had in my life. It was so dense and fresh and 
clean tasting. I do love green juice. I love like healthy green juices, but of course, once they're pressed and they're put in a container and they're sitting on the shelf for a few days or they're transported, they actually lose a lot of their fresh enzymes and their nutrition. By the time you get them home, they're nowhere near as nutritious as they were the day they were pressed. And the other thing is a lot of juices are watered down. So I was buying this like these green juices and they were really watered down. They were like $7.50 for a little tub, a little container and very watered down and I just thought this isn't very good quality. I could be making my own juice for a fraction of the price and it would be much more nutritious. So that was what really got me into wanting to juice. I thought that would be fantastic for my health and so that was something I really wanted to do. So yeah, so I'm really happy to have this juicer. Um, made my first ever juice yesterday and it was carrot, apple, ginger and lemon and it was fantastic it was so good really recommend it so yeah if you guys are interested in a juicer this one is phenomenal it was just on sale for 25% off I don't think this exact one is on sale anymore um, but it has many brothers and sisters that are similar and it does go on sale periodically I think at bestbuy.ca like the Canadian one um, the black version is actually on sale I have the stainless steel because I like the look of stainless steel but the black one I think is currently on sale and I can tell you it is easy easy to use from somebody who's never juiced before very user-friendly takes about five minutes to clean up afterwards um, and you get a really good juice yield and it just pulverizes your fruit and makes juice in like with almost no effort it is so good so yeah I've been really really enjoying that I also wanted to show you guys my nails and please excuse the little chip that I have there in my finger um, but I did these nails myself I'll show you my other hand and these are just gel nails that I did at home and I got, um, I have my own, all of my nail supplies. I am still going to do this video for you guys. I have some time off coming up because the Christmas holidays are around the corner. My daughter's going to be gone for a couple of weeks and I don't work a whole heck of a lot over the holidays, thank goodness. So I am going to be making a lot more videos and I will show you guys the stuff that I use to do my own nails. It saves a lot of money. I can get them looking exactly how I like them. I cannot tell you guys how many times I have gone to the salon and had my nails done and come out saying, oh, I don't really like the shape here or oh they did this a little bit whatever they did that a little bit whatever it's like instead of complaining about it and spending money and sitting somewhere and waiting for like an hour and a half two hours why not just do it yourself get it done right the first time and it's also kind of like a relaxing thing you know I'm not gonna lie I do love going to get my nails done I love the whole experience I love the salon I love like the whole thing but doing them myself has also been very rewarding it's taken some time to get used to how I like them being done. And I went with it a little bit shorter this time. I decided I wanted to go a little bit shorter than my use. Lately, I've been having longer nails, but I do I do quite like my, my short little nails right now. And this is like um, kind of an almost opaque white with little gold foil flecks. Very, very pretty, very simple, very minimal, very chic. That's how I like it. And the candle that I'm burning is Twisted Peppermint. So yeah, I've been burning my candles a lot more lately, really trying to enjoy, enjoy what I have and just like find balance for myself. <laughs> That's what my whole mission in life has been lately is finding balance. I can tell you that for the last like year, ish half six months to a year I have had an extreme lack of balance especially when it comes to work night shifts have been really really hard on me I haven't been getting enough sleep a lot of the times when I'm doing night shifts um, so that is still a work in progress figuring out a way around the night shifts that is still something I'm very much working around but these days you guys I am about looking after myself I'm no longer going to bend over backwards or essentially destroy my body for anything like we are not doing that anymore you guys so if you have been experiencing the same thing I have if you have been feeling burnt out overworked stressed too much going on not looking after yourself physically not feeling great, maybe eating too much junk food, join me in my little journey. I will keep you guys updated if you like about the intermittent fasting. I'll share recipes with you, juicing recipes, whatever I can, and just like a lot more like self-care stuff. Still going to be focusing a lot on perfumes and other things that I love, you know, because there's a lot more that I love than just fragrance, but also the self-care aspect is huge. And it's no joke, you guys. Like, it is no joke. <laughs> Life these days is no joke, especially when you are maybe like myself. I'm a single mother. Yes, I have a boyfriend, but he is, isn't responsible for my child. I'm responsible for my child. Um, you know, working, doing shift work. It's not like I just can wake up whenever I feel like it and 
make whatever plan I want for my day. So you really have to find balance and you really have to look after yourself and you come number one, because if you don't look after yourself, you can't be a good mother, a good wife, a good friend, a good girlfriend, a good daughter, a good worker. You can't do anything well. And you only get one chance at your life on this planet and you only get one chance in this vessel. So take care of it. That's why we're burning peppermint candles and drinking black coffee and talking about perfume. So without further ado, let's get into my favorite body sprays so far. Okay, so we're not gonna go in order of my most favorite to least favorite or anything like that. We're just gonna do, I think, the order that I've had them the longest because that'll make it very simple. If I didn't love them all, I wouldn't be keeping them. So yeah, I don't know if I can really say favorite to least, but maybe there's a favorite like of the moment. Maybe I have a couple favorites of the moment. The body spray that I have had the longest is the Brazilian Crush Shirosa 62. This is the pistachio and salted caramel. This one is... Yeah, this one just smells delicious. I don't really have to go into too much detail with this because I think pretty much everybody at this point either has it or has smelled it or knows what it is. And very, very few people don't like this. I don't think I've ever met somebody who doesn't like the way this smells. It's very like delicious and gourmand and has almost like a beachy summertime vibe, but it's not like coconutty or sunscreeny. It just smells so good. It literally smells so good you guys and i have a lot of really nice memories with this scent because when i travel i bring a mixture of the boom boom cream and also the coco cabana and i mix the two creams together and i put them in my travel size container and that is my travel body lotion so i put that on whenever i'm traveling every time i have a shower i put that all over my body so i really really like it um and yeah this one i've had for a long time i haven't worn it as much lately just because i've been wearing a lot more of my other body sprays and some of my newer perfumes but i do quite like this one and yeah really recommend that one the next one is victoria's secret bare vanilla golden now this one i think is i've had this one for about the same length of time as the next one i'm going to talk about i found this one actually a couple months ago i've tried the original bare vanilla and i do prefer bare vanilla golden to the original bare vanilla there's something about this one that makes it a little bit different this one is vanilla musky i think there is like vanilla orchid i think there's tonka bean and i think there's also an almondy touch in here as well Yes, I love this so much, you guys. This is also a compliment getter. I've gotten compliments when I've worn this. It lasts for a really long time. It just smells like delicious and feminine and pretty. And it smells a little bit more like big girl sort of. Like this isn't, this doesn't smell like a juvenile cheap vanilla body spray. It smells a little bit more mature and sophisticated and more like a, a perfume. So this one is one of the most perfume-like body mists that I have. And I really like it. I like it a lot actually. Like I think I I think I probably even like this better now than I did when I first got it a couple months ago and the fact that it has good performance just is the icing on the cake. So that is Bare Vanilla Golden. Definitely do recommend checking it out if you guys have not. The next body mist is a Bath and Body Works one and this is Vanilla Bean Noel. Now what are the notes on this one? This one has fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel, sugar cookies, whipped cream and snow-kissed musk and this one Okay, <laughs> this one makes me happy. I don't know what it is about it, but I think because it has this like cookie touch to it, like it smells a little bit like vanilla cookies a little. It has this nostalgic Christmas feel to it or holiday feel. You can tell that it is a scent that comes out around the holidays. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, there's just something about it that I really, really like and it's cozy, it's warm, it's comforting. Well, I just really, really like it. It's just, it's very cozy to me. Um, so yeah, I do love this one. I, as you can see, I've worn that one quite a bit as well. There's a bit of a dent there. And this one layers very nicely with Vanilla 28 from Kaoli. I've actually worn this one and Kaoli Vanilla 28 and gotten a compliment from that combination. This one's like a little bit more gourmand and buttercream smelling compared to the bare vanilla golden but it still is vanilla dominant and that is something that you'll notice with a lot of my body sprays and a lot of my perfumes in general is i am a vanilla lover and yeah this is just so like cozy and relaxing to me so the next one is wrapped in vanilla this is one of the newer ones that bath and body works just put out i don't know if it's brand new 
like completely or if it's just new this season um, and if it comes out every year I'm really not sure but this was a love at first sniff in the store I didn't even think twice I just put it in my basket and I really like this one this is a bit sweeter than the vanilla bean noel and it's definitely sweeter than the bare vanilla golden this one is more about that vanilla and it's a very sweet vanilla so the notes that they have in here listed are vanilla soft vanilla velvet sugar and chantilly cream and this one okay yeah this one is definitely more sweet and it does have a bit of a creamy like that chantilly cream gourmand sort of undertone to it but it's not it's not super foody it's not super foody and there is a sweetness in here it reminds me a little bit of pink chiffon um imagine pink chiffon but without the fruity note it's kind of similar to that and then it's just like a vanilla 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 like three different types of vanilla and there's also sugar in here so it is very very sweet and i just really 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 like it it makes me happy um haven't worn it a ton i can't really comment on the longevity i think it's like okay i think it's somewhere around the maybe vanilla bean noel maybe a little bit longer lasting than vanilla bean noel but it's not as long lasting as bare vanilla golden yeah it smells so nice in fact i may make this one my scent of the day today actually so yeah, that is wrapped in vanilla. And again, this is one I think that you could wear all year round. It wouldn't have to be just for Christmas. I'm definitely going to be wearing this one. Kind of wish I had the matching body lotion as well. And the last one that is my other favorite body spray, you guys, I can't believe that I'm actually saying this because when I first smelled strawberry pound cake, I liked it, but I thought it was too, I thought it was too sweet and too foody and too rich. And I thought, I don't want to smell that sweet and that foody you know I'm just not I'm not into that and I just thought that it smelled too much like strawberries it wasn't my thing never in a hundred years did I ever think I would wear this body spray I believe that I've smelled the candle and the candle was too much for me so what happened with this one was I had a little travel size which I ended up giving to my daughter because I wore it a couple times and thought I didn't really think it was for me I just thought no I don't think strawberry pound cake is gonna be my cup of tea gave it to my daughter the other day, you guys, I was shopping at the mall and I was in the change room and the lady who was helping me smelled so good and I stopped her and I said, excuse me, I said, I don't mean to sound like creepy or whatever, but I said, you smell so good. What are you wearing if you don't mind my asking? And she's like, believe it or not, it's strawberry pound cake. I was like, oh my goodness. I was like, shut the front door. She's like, I get so many compliments. She's like, people stop me all the time and ask me what I'm wearing. And she just smelled so good. She just... I couldn't put my finger on it. I could tell that it probably wasn't a perfume because it smelled softer, lighter, and sweeter. Like she just smelled really good. And she was a woman, I would say, in her late 40s maybe, I would say. Yeah, she just smelled so good. And it wasn't overpowering, but it was enough that when she walked by me, I caught it. And I was like, that girl smells really good. And yeah, after that point, I was like, say no more. If that is how I smell when I wear this, if that is like what people pick up, I want that and so yeah I actually went and got this unfortunately because it was like the end of I don't know whatever they've sold out of all of the body sprays all they had left was a gift set so they had this with the body wash and also the body cream the body cream though I do like and I will say that the body cream lasts quite a long time in terms of the scent so that is really really nice and you guys I have already gotten, I wore this for two nights and on those two nights I got, I think, three compliments from other people, like not my family members. <laughs> so I got compliments from two coworkers and one of my patients um, wearing the strawberry pound cake. And actually the other night what I did was I layered strawberry pound cake and vanilla bean noel and I got a compliment from a coworker who it was actually kind of cute he was like I don't mean this to sound weird but he's like you smell really good you smell like caramel I was like oh thank you and it was these two mixed together so obviously people can smell this and I do go a little crazy with it I'm not sure where we are at oh I can see it so the line is right there um and I do spray I would say probably one two three four five six 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I, I probably spray like 15, 20 sprays, okay? I'm not gonna lie. And then I also had the um, body lotion on my arms and just like kind of on my chest area. And so it would like come through my shirt. And yeah, compliment central, you guys. Compliment central with this stuff. So I can totally understand why so many people love it. And the fact that I stopped somebody to ask them what they were wearing and it was this. This is probably one of my favorite new body sprays 
ever. Like I just, I love it. It's, I have to admit when I first spray it, it is very, it is a lot for me. It's very foody. It's too much strawberry. I, it smells like pound cake. It smells like cake. It smells like strawberry shortcake. That is not my jam. Like that is not what I like in a perfume, but after it starts to settle, it just is like, it's just like this sweet, pleasant, people pleasing, crowd pleasing, vanillic, berry. It's just really, really nice. And it obviously lasts and obviously people can smell it on you because yeah, compliment getter all night long. <laughs> so yeah, I just can't say enough good things about this one. You guys, I'm really, really enjoying it. And like I said, try layering it with other vanillas. In fact, I think it would be really good layered with, um, wrapped in vanilla. These two layered together, I think would be fantastic. I'm definitely going to try doing that. Um, but the wrapped in vanilla in general, like this one's just like rich and decadent. Yeah, this one's rich and decadent and sweet. Whereas the strawberry pound cake is a little bit more fluffy and light. The vanilla bean Noel is more like cookie, musky, comfortable, comforting. <laughs> yeah, but they're all good. They're all good. So yeah, I can't tell you guys how much fun it has been experimenting with body sprays and like seeing what's going to get me a compliment. <laughs> It's just a lot of fun. I wish I worked in a place where we were actually supposed to wear scent because technically we're not supposed to wear fragrance to work. But I was like, you know what? Men show up smelling like Axe. They show up smelling like they're like Old Spice, Pure Sport, underarm deodorant. They smell like aftershave. Just tell me, why is it okay that men can show up smelling like all that? And women are like, no, 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 you're not allowed to wear perfume here. It's like, come on. If he's showing up smelling like body spray and aftershave, I'm wearing strawberry pound cake. I think it is a huge double standard. Men can get away with like, like when they smell like aftershave and cologne and deodorant, people just think, oh, they smell like a man. They smell like a clean, like he showered today, cool. But when I wear perfume, it's like, oh, she obviously is wearing perfume. Like, come on, what if I'm just clean? What if I just smell like this? That's my two cents on that. And these are my favorite body sprays. So those are my five favorite body sprays. I would dare to say of all, all time. I do also have Shirosa 40. I love Shirosa 40. It's a plummy, woody vanilla scent. That one's fantastic. The reason it's not here is because it's actually in my gym bag. I wear that one to the gym and I do really like that one. I wouldn't say that I enjoy wearing it as much as I enjoy wearing these. These are definitely more my absolute favorites. I also have Midnight Amber Glow, but again, I wouldn't say Midnight Amber Glow is as enjoyable for me to wear as these ones. I definitely enjoy wearing these ones even more than Midnight Amber Glow, but I do like Midnight Amber Glow. That one is in the car in my gym bag as well. And another one that I like that is a cheapy but a goodie is the Cotton Candy, I think from Calgon. Just your basic Walmart cotton candy. Yeah, that's my favorite body sprays, you guys, um, currently. So just to wrap it up, we have Bare Vanilla Golden, Shirosa 62, Vanilla Bean Noel, Strawberry Pound Cake, and Wrapped in Vanilla. So if you guys also like these fragrances or if you're interested in any of them, um, let me know down below. That is it for today. Thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to take care of yourself and put yourself first and all of that kind of stuff. So I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. So that was it for today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave me down below your favorite body spray ever of all time. I'm always looking to find a new body spray that I might enjoy wearing. And thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.